Live from KTIV, this is Sports Force Extra. Sports Extra for the 2023 season. I'm Jason Mullen alongside the amazing Amber Salas. We'll be bringing you know, the best matchup Siouxland has to offer under the Friday Night Lights. That's right. And let me tell you, this season we are bringing you more games, more live reports from all around Siouxland. However, tonight we're going to be starting right here in the Metro. But before we get to the highlights, we have a very special to surprise to start us off for tonight. Also, on behalf of Bishop Eden Athletics tonight, we'd like to give a shout out to KTIV's Brad Pouch. Brad will be back with us in action tonight after completing another journey of chemo. We'd like to say welcome back, Brad. It's great to have you. See you in action again tonight. We just want to welcome KTIV Sports Director Brad Pouch back to the sidelines for another right football season. There, that was the welcome he received at Memorial Field in Sioux City from the crowd. Brad, from all of your KTIV family and Siouxland, we love you and are so happy to have you back on the sidelines. Brad's highlights, they're going to lead us off tonight on Sports Force Extra. The Bishop Healing Crusaders are looking to get back to their glory days after a couple rough years, and they'll open up hosting the Knights of Kemper Catholic. Now, Bishop Healan with two wins last season, Kemper with eight wins a year ago. But the Crusaders, they're going to score on their first offensive play. Quarterback Quinn Olson scrambles out of trouble, and he'll take it 54 yards all the way to the house. Talk about thinking on your feet. It's 7-0 Heelan. However, Kemper ties the game. Fourth and six. DJ Von Holm airs it out from 33 yards away, and we're all knotted up at seven. The Knights, they take the lead in the second. Von Holm with the lob, and Kemper leads 13-7. Heelan looking to retake the advantage. Third and 30. Olsen throws to Cannon Bork for the touchdown, and the Crusaders go up 14-13. But the Knights score in the final minutes. Von Holm with his third touchdown pass of the half. But Heelan wins a wild one, 22 to 19. Just across the border in North Sioux City, Dakota Valley hosting Vermillion. We'll pick up in the first. Jackson Boonstra shakes off tacklers, and he's gone. Nothing but green grass ahead of him. He gets all the way to the end zone to put the Panthers up 7-0 early. But the Tanagers would fight back. Here's Ryan Chapman powering through Panthers with the strong run. That gets a Vermillion first down, but tell you what, folks, DV just rolling in this one. Here's Drew Lucan hitting the brakes on the defender and then firing the slant to Bo Jones, who scampers ahead to put the Panthers in the red zone right afterwards. Panthers go right back to Boonstra, and Boonstra punches in his second touchdown of the day. Panthers go up 14-0. They secure the shutout, 21-0. All right, Warriors and Bulldogs duking it out in Sergeant Bluff. We're going to start here in the third quarter. Bulldogs hand it off, but Julian Jermick, the senior, snips that one out, makes the tackle for a loss. Nice play there. Later on, SBL looking for some momentum right here, but look out, we got the fumble. Bo Waddle scoops it up. There's nothing but green in front of him as he takes it in. It's a 24-10 ball game. After already setting the school record, here's Giovanni Cabongo breaking the record he set earlier in the game. The 45-yard field goal makes it 27-10. Lamar is going on to win this one 41-13. New City West hosting Council Bluffs Abe Lincoln out of Elwood Olsen. Third quarter here, it's the Lynx quarterback faking out the cameraman then firing it all the way down to a wide open Isaiah Lusaho. He's going, going, gone, and Council Bluff Abe Lincoln increases their lead to 21. Later on, Higgins hands it off to Andre Rogers. He scampers up the sideline for a big Lynx gain right here. But the Wolverines, they're not going to go down without a fight here. Higgins is going to fire one downfield. It's bobbled and intercepted by Xander Hernandez. He's going to race up the sideline for a nice little gain here. But it wouldn't be enough as West falls in this one, 28 to 13. Yeah, it wouldn't be Sports Force Extra without a little border battle. Sioux City North and South Sioux City took to the field 
in an effort to establish state supremacy. Now, the last time these two met, the Stars won 44 0. We'll pick things up in the first quarter. North gives to Dayton Harrell on the end around, and Harrell has some blockers in front of him. Harrell outruns everybody into the end zone, and it's 7 0 Sioux City North. Later on, Cardinals looking to respond. They give it to Tony Palmer, and look at Tony P break free. The junior sheds another tackle, gets to the outside, and he's off to the races as this ball game is now tied. But on the ensuing kickoff, Harrell fields the ball, looks up field. Harrell finds a seam. He's breaking free. Get going, Dayton Harrell. The senior is heading up the sideline, and he's going to make an opening night house call. Tell you what, folks, this one's close. It's still in action. Hopefully, we'll have the final for you later tonight. Up in Sioux County, though, the West Lion Wildcats dueling Sioux Center in a tight game. Starting in the first quarter, Connor Cameraman tries to run the ball outright, but he's stopped by the Wildcats. That shuts down that drive. Later on, possession with the Wildcats. Bryson Childress tries to look for a pass, but Daniel Camacho is right there, forcing the fumble and grabbing it to force a turnover, but they couldn't hold it. And the Wildcats, Childress, he passes on over to Carson Hugavine to get 10 yards. But the Warriors, they stay strong. Here's Bryce Ustenink stopping Riker Metzger from making the catch. That keeps it nothing to nothing. West Lyon goes on to win a low-scoring battle, 14 to 2. All right, the battle for Orange City in action. Unity Christian and MOC Floyd Valley going on right here in the second quarter. MOC Floyd Valley's Blake Albers tries to pass to Caleb Korselman. But it's Ethan Van Ginkle right there to keep their lead 22 to 13. Third quarter now the Dutchman get a leg up when Dylan Mazdam catches this interception. Going on after that one, it's going to be Albers throwing a big pass right here. It's going to go up top to Eamon Langton. He's going to get a nice little 30 yard catch right there. Later on, Albers is going to keep it going. He's going to go again right here to Tyson Voss to get the touchdown, making it 22 to 19. Uni Christian will end up taking it away 29 to 25. Keeping things going with the defending eight-man state champions. Remsen St. Mary's opening up their season with Harris Lake Park. First quarter here, Landon Waldschmidt out to the flat to Keaton Harpenau. Puts a couple defenders on skates right here as he worms his way into the red zone, but that would end it for the first scoreless. Same drive now, start of the second. The Hawks roll the dice on fourth and goal. Wad Schmidt keeper all the way. That makes it 6-0 Hawks. But the Wolves had a drive going on their next possession. Hawks defense making plays. It's Lucas Arnstorf. Nowhere to go. Waldschmidt picks off the pass and St. Mary's takes over. Hawks get the week one victory 28 to 7 over Harris Lake Park for their 14th straight win. We'll keep things going with the defending class 2A state champ Central Lion George Little Rock dueling Emmitsburg. Emmitsburg with the ball early on. They throw down and Lane Kruger intercepts it. Nothing but green in front of Kruger. He makes a house call here for the first touchdown of the game. Later on, Lions get the ball to Graham Even. He takes the handoff and goes 27 yards for the Tutter. Central Lion, well, they just kept it going in this one. Here's Reese Vanderzee. He throws to Isaiah Johnson for a 61-yard gain. That gets them all the way up to the 8-yard line. And then Vanderzee, well, he'd take it the rest of the way, running from goal and is able to get the Lions a touchdown in the final seconds of the first half as Central Lion rolls to victory in this one, 48-8. to 8. 